So look, y'all, when it comes to uh, perfection, no crypto is uh, is perfect. But uh, I think when it comes to perfection, say Tom is one of the um, they're one of the cryptos that's closer to it. All right, and I say that they're closer to it because uh, you look at everything that uh, they want to do. All right, you look at everything that the developers want to do with the uh, with the project. Okay, and you look at everything that they followed up on. All right. Regardless if um, regardless if uh, things are not perfect on uh, certain things they follow up on, they're still taking action. They still have an emotion. Do we understand? So a lot of individuals, you know, we we complain a lot about um, we complain a lot about a lot of things, right? But when it comes to uh, perfection, say Thomas is close to it because those devs do a really good job of saying what they want to do and they do a good job of following up on what they want to do okay even if it's not uh perfected all right we look at uh we look at everything they wanted to do with like say the swamp but like say the pro uh they've been talking about it and it's in motion now say the pro and say the swamp in my opinion is as clean as it get when it comes to a swap dropping when it comes to uh, certain uh, platforms dropping or certain catalysts dropping like that uh, that are connected with a crypto. Okay, that's as clean as it get. When you look at things also like the um, do-it-yourself migration tool that was talked about, uh, they put that in action and it was launched. Okay, and uh, we had some success with it. All right, they had success with it. Uh, of course, now that it is... Uh, it is down. They're doing some things to it again. Uh, you know, we had some situations uh, with it. But uh, the thing is this right here. When it dropped, right, when the, when the do-it-yourself migration tool dropped, uh, a lot of the critics out there, all right, uh, you didn't hear anything. It was just crickets, all right? But no soon the uh, the migration tool had some, uh, some issues or had to be taken down, okay, for uh, certain corrections. Then everybody came out of the woodworks, all right? Nobody is saying how, uh, you know, these developers actually uh, talked up what they wanted to manifest, all right? They're not talking about that and how it actually launched, all right? And for me, I would say, hey, you know, uh, even if it's having some problems now or whatever like that, at least it's out there. At least that they, they dropped it. You know, they, they were talking that game and they, and they walk in that game too. They're talking it and walking it. All right? It's out there. It's not like, uh, you know, this is something they've been talking about for months and it's not even here yet. All right? It's out there. And like I said, no sooner problems come up, you, then you have individuals want to come out of the woodworks. Um, but it still does not change the fact that, say, Tom is doing more than a lot of projects out here. All right? For a lot of individuals that are, uh, uh, you know, criticizing you know, these certain catalysts that say Tama has going on, if you ask them, okay, what's going on with the other projects that you're investing in? All right, look at the wallets and go down the line of all of the other projects that you're investing in and tell me which one of those projects are doing anything close to what, say, Tama is doing. I'm not talking about one or two things. What are they doing? Okay? So, um, right now, say, say Tama, in my opinion, is, is, is becoming a big dog in the crypto game. They're becoming a big dog, okay? Um, you look at what they got going on, they're, they're accurate. They're more accurate than a lot of these developers out here, all right? And that's, that's not really to take nothing away because, like I said, uh, when you have, when you're, when you're under man, okay, with a, uh, when you're under man in a crypto project, when you got one, of, one to five people, I told y'all, the average amount of people that's going to run a crypto project, okay, it's two to five individuals. We're not used to having crypto, multiple crypto projects out there uh, that are over staff, a staff of uh, 300. And I know, you know, Russ said that, um, I know Russ said that, you know, the 300 man team is outsourced and all of that stuff like that. Hey, they're still on our team. They're still on our team. At the end of the day, we got a 300 man and woman team that we can toss an idea to. Okay, and get things in, in, in motion. They don't have to be uh, directly uh, connected to Saitama. It can be outsourced. The fact is, all right, we're able to afford that outsourcing. 
right, we're able to afford that outsourcing when you have a lot of developers out here that can't afford that outsourcing. So I believe that's big. I believe that is a very uh, big uh, uh, situation right there that goes on, a positive situation. Outsourced or not, they're still with us. All right, outsourced or not, we still get to come up with an idea, toss it to them and say, get it done. And they get it done. Okay, so uh, we we still have a big staff, that 300 man and woman team. All right, and, and St. Thomas is ahead of the game. All right, and like I said, I'm not taking anything from away from other developers because that was the, that's the norm, to have a, a two to five man uh, team to run a project. All right, uh, it's no, it's the norm for individuals to uh, have a have a tall order of tasks on their blueprint, on their roadmap. Okay, and it's it's the norm for individuals to get it done little by little over time. You know, maybe a project done here, maybe a project done somewhere down the line there. Okay, that's the norm. But say Thomas changing the game because say Thomas coming along. Okay, and they are saying multiple things they want to uh, uh, get done, and they're getting done multiple things. All right, for example, let's let's just say if uh, say Tama came along and said we want to get uh, five things done. Okay, uh, with this project, say the say Tama team they're knocking out three four things. They're knocking out three, three to four things out of five, out, out of five uh, tasks that they want to get done or catalysts that they want to get done. That's not the norm, y'all. I'm telling y'all, it is not the norm. Okay, the norm is a two to five uh, a man team getting multiple things done over time, one thing at a time. Why? Because they can only afford to do. Uh, one or two things, all right. They may want this this uh, uh, two to four this two to five man uh, crypto project. Okay, they may want to get ten. They might want to get ten to fifteen things done on their roadmap. Okay, but they're only able to get one or two things done because number one, they're understaffed. They don't have a big team, and they don't have the revenue coming in to get multiple things done. Even if they had the revenue coming in to get multiple things done, okay, um, they probably could not get it done faster than they want to because of uh, how the tokenomics is set up. How the tokenomics is set up. Right? How, how that set up may, you know, hold them back from getting certain things. So, even if they have more revenue coming in, that revenue is going other places, it's being occupied by other catalysts. All right? So at the end of the day, all right, you're just stuck into the uh, you're stuck into the zone of trying to get things done little by little. That's the norm. Okay, y'all? So uh, when I say that Saitama is ahead of the game, they're ahead of the game, y'all. At least when I say it, I can break I can break down why I think that. At least when I, at least when I say, at least when I say, say Thomas the best, that's something I can break down. Just like I told you why they're the head of the game, the security game. All right, they're the head of the game because they've conquered uh, dealing with uh, security issues. Right, they've conquered dealing with like hacking, wills, bots, all of that stuff. And and these are things that, you know, uh, these are things that uh, these are things that. You know the OG swaps like Uniswap, Pancake Swap, and all of those other swaps could not do for years, for years. And and look, they still can't do it. They still can't get rid of front running bots. They still can't get rid of hackers. They still can't get rid of you know. They still can't keep the whales at bay. They cannot do it. All right, but these are things that Saitama has conquered. Okay, in just a couple a couple months, a few months. So how is Saitama not ahead of the game? You mean to tell me someone can come along and uh, switch up how certain ways of crypto is done, okay, and uh, they're still in that same bunch? They're, they are still in that same bunch of individuals that have less going on, all right, that are still getting hacked and still got bots going crazy and still got whales going crazy? At some point, 
you have to separate these kind of uh, uh, projects. You have to separate a project, a project that can come along and change how crypto has been done for the last 15 years. Okay, is ahead of the game. They're ahead of the game. There's no way around it. Okay? But the thing is, y'all, um, what we have to understand also is that we got to get out of tribalism. Because when we, when we are in tribalism, it keeps you from investing in multiple projects. Individuals who are complaining about Saitama and feel some kind of way about Saitama, okay, y'all have to understand. Some of these individuals know that Saitama is succeeding, okay, and still want to bash him. But you have the opportunity to invest into this project too. You're, you're free to invest in anything you want to. If I see that a project, right, is doing something uh, spectacular, but I represent or, you know, I like, I have, I favor another project, right, which I never really do because the thing is this, I'm an investor first. I'm not going to be naive to the fact and be like, oh, you know, that project still sucks or that project is, is bad or whatever like this. And I see with my own eyes that that project is doing something. I'm, a, I'm an investor first. So I'm going to be like, hell, the hell with that. I'm off to invest in this project. Why? Because this project is doing something nice, and this project has the potential to bring me wealth down the line. I already told you, I invest in a... You will never hear me... I might get on the developers a lot. I get on the developers, but I'm never, I never hate a project. I'm invested in a lot of projects. There are a lot of individuals that invest in Sheep, won't invest in Saitama, and vice versa. I invest in both of them. I invest in both of them. I invest in Shibnobi, I invest in Bolt, okay, I invest in, uh, I invest in Doe, I invest in all of, I invest into a lot of projects. Okay, I'm not going to bash, I'm not going to bash a project, I will bash a, uh, a developer. I will, I will stay on them developers cases, and I stay on their cases because a lot of them are lazy. Alright, a lot of them are lazy, a lot of them got their tokenomics set up crazy. Alright. And you still got new developers coming in, not knowing what they should know. Okay, you still got new developers coming in, not knowing what they should know, still setting the project up crazy, and they're going to pay for it down the line. All right, let's just hope that they look at Saitama blueprint and look at Saitama's tokenomics, how that's set up, and do it the Saitama way. All right, because that's a good blueprint right there. It's a good blueprint. Okay, so um, I wanted to just make this video, y'all. Y'all know me, I can get going. All right, and um, remember, y'all, every now will be history tomorrow, and you either have patience in this crypto investing space or you lose in the end, and you don't want to be a loser. All right, so this is my video, and I will catch all of you beautiful, nice investors and supporters on the up and up. Howdy.